Today we're going to use a dioxide patinas. Dioxide is the same as if you were going to do an acid patina, which is an oxide. Uh, we're only eliminating the acids, so you have something that's very similar, um, but yet you don't have any of the acids in it, so it's not as harmful, and it takes a lot quicker than an acid. Usually an acid will take more time to develop that oxide. We're going to develop that oxide instantly. Okay, and so it and it works very well. And again, it works on almost anything you want. Uh, metal uh, works on wood, works on uh, clay, works on stone, uh, works on concrete, pretty much on everything. Because this is transparent, you're going to have to want your metal surface uh, properly prepared. So you'd probably want some darks and lights going on first. So the first thing I'm going to put on this is black and then we'll pull the black off. The dioxides pull off very easily with uh, a 4 aught steel wool. So we'll put that on first, heat it up, and we'll get our darks and lights, and then we're going to make it look like a leaf, a green leaf. So first I'll heat it up. doesn't take much. We don't have to get it very hot either. You can just feel it. Feels, you know, warm to the touch. You're about ready to put on your black or whatever color it happens to be. This is what you call your base color. You usually do this on something that has a lot of texture, so you get high points and low points, the low points having the dark in it, the high points being shinier or lighter. We have the black dioxide on now. We warmed up the metal enough so that the dioxide dried very quickly. Uh, so now we're going to pull it off the top area. So now we have it in the recessed areas and we have a nice shiny surface to work with on the top. So this will give us our deep darks and then our lighter colors on the top so it will make it a much nicer uh, piece of sculpture. Now we're going to take the green dioxide and we're going to run it through a crown sprayer. This is a sprayer that puts out a very fine mist. It also has three orifices, which makes it really nice. That means that there's different size holes that the chemical is coming out or the dioxide is coming out of. So it makes it really nice for doing a very even spray. I've diluted it about 50%. It tends to be somewhat strong, some of them. Some of them aren't. The green is a little strong, the black is, so I diluted the black about 50%. Yellow's kind of weak in a sense, so you don't have to really dilute it. The orange is pretty much the same way. The blue is a little strong, you might want to dilute it. So we'll put a little bit of this light green on there. Maybe go over it one more time with the green. Uh, now that it's cooled back down, uh, the next step is to put a protective coating on it. So on this I sprayed two coats of clear guard, uh, one and let it dry for 15 or 20 minutes and then I put a second coat on. Although it's drying, it's not really cured. Curing time is, is a lot longer so uh, it's going to take a while to get to, to its full hardness. And then we're done. 